Step into a dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind the iconic television series, The Twilight Zone. Since its debut in 1959, this anthology of mysterious and thought-provoking tales has left an indelible mark on the landscape of entertainment. As we delve into the lesser-known facets of this timeless show, one might ponder, are there any hidden gems or intriguing anecdotes about the Twilight Zone that captivate your imagination? This groundbreaking series, created by Rod Serling, became a pioneer in blending science fiction, fantasy, and suspense within the confines of a half-hour format. Its enduring qualities lie in the ability to explore the human condition through allegorical narratives that continue to resonate with audiences today. What makes the Twilight Zone an everlasting symbol of the industry? Is it the timeless themes, the unexpected twists, or the moral quandaries that transcend the boundaries of time and genre? Now, consider your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to this enigmatic series. What episode left an indelible mark on your psyche, prompting reflection or sparking conversations that lingered long after the credits rolled? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Embark on a journey through the unknown where reality meets imagination and the ordinary collides with the extraordinary testament to the enduring legacy of the Twilight Zone. What mysteries lie ahead in the comments section? Share your thoughts and experiences with fellow enthusiasts and let the conversation unfold. Rod Serling, the creator of The Twilight Zone, initially believed he coined the term The Twilight Zone independently. However, it turned out to be a phrase used by U.S. Air Force pilots when crossing the boundary between day and night. This unexpected origin added an intriguing layer to the show's title. In its second season, the series faced budget constraints, leading to a cost-cutting experiment. Six episodes were shot on videotape instead of film due to its lower production cost. This decision, however, came with limitations editing videotape was nearly impossible and location shooting was restricted. Despite saving money, the challenges prompted a return to filming for the rest of the series, emphasizing quality over cost. CBS, recognizing the enduring impact of The Twilight Zone, compiled a list of the 10 most terrifying episodes. This selection, made in 2018, highlighted the timeless appeal of certain episodes, including Nightmare at 20,000 Feet, Time Enough at Last, and The Monsters Are Due on Maple Street. These facts shed light on the series' inception, budgetary struggles, and lasting impact, illustrating how The Twilight Zone transcended its initial challenges to become a classic in the annals of television history. In crafting the iconic opening narration for The Twilight Zone's first season, Rod Serling introduced almost all men as being 36 years old. This distinctive detail added a layer of uniformity to the diverse stories that unfolded in the series. Serling's deliberate choice provided a sense of cohesion, subtly guiding viewers into the mysterious and thought-provoking realms explored in each episode. As the series progressed, Serling's creativity extended beyond scripted narratives. In response to a question from CBS executive William Self about the fifth dimension, Serling, perhaps whimsically, coined the term sixth dimension in the show's opening narration. This brief exchange illustrates the fluidity of Serling's imagination and his willingness to push the boundaries of storytelling conventions. Interestingly, Michael Jackson later paid homage to Serling's narrations by sampling them in his song Threatened. Notably drawing from episodes like It's a Good Life, and in his image, Jackson seamlessly integrated Serling's distinct voice into his music, showcasing the enduring impact of the Twilight Zone on popular culture. These subtle yet significant aspects of the Twilight Zone's inception and creative evolution contribute to its lasting legacy as a groundbreaking television series that transcended conventional storytelling. The deliberate choices made by Rod Serling in shaping the series' identity continue to resonate with audiences, solidifying the Twilight Zone's place in television history. Rod Serling's iconic TV series, known for its mind-bending narratives, left an enduring mark on television history. Beyond its on-screen success, The Twilight Zone had a comic book adaptation that persisted until 1982, featuring Rod Serling's artistic presence as the host even seven years after his passing. This unique extension of the series allowed fans to delve into the surreal tales beyond the confines of the television screen. Interestingly, Serling actively engaged with his audience, inviting them to submit scripts for the show. Despite receiving an overwhelming 14,000 submissions, only two scripts met Serling's standards. 
Unfortunately, they couldn't be used due to format constraints. This interaction showcased the enthusiasm of fans and the challenges in aligning creative ideas with the show's distinctive structure. While the phrase submitted for your approval has become synonymous with Serling's opening narration, it surprisingly appears in only three episodes, Cavender is Coming, In Praise of Pip, and A Kind of a Stopwatch. This unique aspect adds a layer of intrigue to the show's signature introduction, emphasizing its selective use in specific episodes. These lesser-known facets of the Twilight Zone, from its extended presence in comic book form to Serling's call for audience involvement, and the subtle recurrence of a key phrase, contribute to the series' multifaceted legacy. The Twilight Zone continues to captivate audiences with its unparalleled blend of mystery, imagination, and thought-provoking narratives, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of classic television. Ranked number 8 in TV Guide's list of the 25 top cult shows ever, The Twilight Zone continues to stand as a hallmark of television excellence. Rod Serling, the visionary behind the series, secured his place as the number one figure in TV Guide's 25 Greatest Sci-Fi Legends. His unique narrative style and thought-provoking storytelling elevated the show to a cult status that transcends generations. As viewers tuned in to the distinctive high-pitched guitar melody riff in the theme music played by Howard Roberts, they were ushered into a world of mystery and imagination. This oft-parodied riff became synonymous with the show's iconic introduction, setting the stage for the mind-bending narratives that followed. Beyond its on-screen success, The Twilight Zone left an indelible mark on popular culture. Its influence extends beyond the confines of the television screen, as evidenced by its enduring presence in TV Guide's esteemed list. The show's ability to captivate audiences with its unparalleled blend of mystery and imagination has solidified its place in the annals of classic television. As we bid adieu to this enigmatic journey through the peculiar realms of the otherworldly, let's linger in the echoes of the curious, the bizarre, and the thought-provoking. The paths we've tread within the labyrinthine tales of the Twilight Zone beckon us to reflect upon our own reality. It's in these surreal narratives that the mirror to our deepest fears, desires, and uncertainties is held up, compelling us to ponder the uncanny and the extraordinary in our ordinary lives. If you found yourself mesmerized by the peculiar allure of the Twilight Zone's narratives, take a moment to delve into your own experiences. What peculiar twists and turns have mirrored its storytelling in your world? Which moral lessons or perplexing conundrums linger in your thoughts? Share your tales and musings, for in this shared space, the extraordinary finds its home in the ordinary. Thank you for accompanying us on this cerebral excursion. Your reflections and stories are the very essence that keeps the enigma of the twilight zone alive in our hearts and minds.